there's anything that you disagree with, no, in, no, no. If, if there was something that you disagree with, if someone came up to me and they claimed the righteous path, and one of the things that they mentioned in the righteous path was pride and anger, I would then say this is two things I disagree with. Everything else okay. I agree with, right. but these two things I disagree with, and then we could have a conversation that's from there. Okay. Asking them their authority or where they got it from is irrelevant because that's what they believe and that's what they think. Okay, so that's let's, let's, let's sort of delve into that a little bit more. So if somebody does come and they do say part of their path is anger and whatever your else negative thing you're suggesting. Yeah, the negative part yeah. of the self-worship mm -hmm. part is yeah. lust, anger, greed, okay. attachment and Say pride. if somebody comes with those exact yeah. things, yeah? lust, anger, greed, pride, whatever it is, and they say this is, our, this is my path, this mm. is the righteous path, mm. in my opinion. Mm. What, do you have any way to establish for them that that's what the part? Yeah. How? How would you do that? For common sense and consensus. So I would say, how many people have you spoken to that agree that that is a righteous? Because righteous has a, different, a specific meaning to it. It's not. You can't have righteousness with anger, lust, greed, attachment, or pride. They, they, they don't exist together. So. I would then ask them, how many people have you spoken to that agree that that's righteous? And if they say nobody, then that will show them that... I can't tell them what to think, but that will show them that they need to self-reflect so on what that is. I appreciate that you're saying that you can't tell them what to think. Mm -hmm. I think the, the, the problem here is, is that you're democratizing righteousness. You're, you're making what is right and what is wrong a democratic process. No, I'm not. You, I'm, I'm doing you, this common sense. Yeah, I understand. It, it, like, if the righteous part that I mentioned, truth, love, compassion, contentment, humility, do you have any issues with any of those I said? But that's, that, this is, like I said, this is a, before we get onto the specifics, yeah, the first thing I, I need to understand is, because we're talking about two, two aspects, for me anyway, I don't know for you, because I, I don't, I just believe in this life, I believe in a life yeah, after no, no, this no, life but as well. The, the whole point of me coming onto your show originally was to ask the question about uh, whether you think there is anything, because I believe that there's things called fake Muslims. There's people who profess to be Muslim, but they don't live like a Muslim. That was the whole point, but then I was only allowed to ask one question, so I didn't want to go down into that rabbit hole and take more time up. So that was the main issue I was there, but then you guys asked me to only have one question, and then the question I asked was about the... What did I say exactly? I can't remember. Seal of the Prophets? Or? I think we came to that afterwards, but I think it was about belief. Yeah, it was the fact that Islam is becoming a belief-based religion, yeah. rather yeah, than a deen, which is a way of living. Sure, I remember now. Yeah. So. Again, so I that was my original I understand, thing. So I understand. For you to bring it back to me about my own beliefs is quite reflective and doesn't actually answer any questions. That so I'll tell, you why, I'll tell you why it's important for me. Because cause you, one of the things you said is that if... Because you're, you're talking about this path that you say is righteous. This is something that you're saying, right? And, I, and, I'm, I st and then you give me the specifics of the path. But before I even get to the specifics of the path, I need to know on what, what is your basis for making this or asserting this claim that this is the righteous path. For me, the rational process of, I'm gonna accept what this person is saying to me. Common sense. Okay, that's fine. So you gave two things. One thing you said was common sense. The second thing you said was, oh, uh, you, would, you would ask consensus. Yeah, yeah. You'd ask the number of people, and if the majority of them said this is the right way, then that would no, be no, the right. If they agree, like, like I asked you, is there anything out of those five sure, things sure. that I mentioned, is there anything you disagree with? Because sure. then I can reflect on that and I could then think, okay, Maybe I need to word that differently, or maybe I need to focus on something else sure, more than that. I understand. So, so for me, as, a, as, as an approach, just as a foundational level approach, there is a problem with this. There is a problem with this. And the problem with this is that w w just because people... The truth is not a democratic. The no, I understand. Uh -huh. Yeah, do you understand? So if, if everyone voted that this tree was not here, mm. it wouldn't change the fact that the tree is there. So, and we see examples in history of people as a society deciding to do the things that are wrong. Uh, let's take something that's not controversial, go back to the, the Mayans who were sacrificing people for the sun god mm -hmm. and they were you know, throwing their heads off of the, you know, you, you must have seen a cop apocalypto by, Mil, by uh, what's his name, Mel Gibson. Mel, yeah. this sort of, that sort of society had decided this was the way to appease the god or whatever and this was the way, this, was, this for them was a righteous path. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we would disagree with that. So, the the consensus and the com common sense within that society were not suitable bar barometers to a certain truth. So, you need. To, so, what I'm saying is that I appreciate what you're saying. Yes, there is a righteous path, and the things that in that path that you mentioned, I 100% I agree with you that those things are composite. They would comprise parts of that. Mm -hmm. 
But the problem really is, where do you get that? Where do you get this claim that this is the righteous path? I can tell you that it's through my experience with God, but then that's subjective, and I don't yeah. want to go down that route. Yeah. So this is why I typically don't say that. This is why I typically just say common sense, and I then ask you to maybe prove one of those things wrong, and then we can have a discussion yeah. about it. I'm not yeah. here to prove anything right or wrong. I'm just here to have a discussion. But this is the. the this is what I mean. So if if the if the whole point here is that you, it's a personal thing. It's, like you said, it's a subjective thing. Mm. My, I've had experiences with God and this is my subjective position. Then that's fine for you. You can go and do whatever you want. The point, the point it becomes an issue is where you then say to anybody else, so the guy that comes and has all the opposite views of, you, of what you call the righteous path, and his label, righteous path, contains those things that are opposite to what you say. Mm. On what basis are you saying it? So we, we establish common sense, okay, so democratization, and even subjective experience are not sufficient. No, no, but this is the issue that Muslims tend to do. They tend to come here and they tend to push Islam. When you're coming here to push Islam, you are trying to recruit numbers. When you're recruiting numbers, you're not recruiting for quality, you're recruiting for quantity. I just had a conversation with someone just a few minutes ago where one of the Muslim kids was running around with his camera in his hand, shouting at everyone else, just going, ah, ah. I'm like, okay, don't give dawah to people who are non-Muslim. You need to give it to the, that guy first. That guy needs dawah first, because he's obviously lost the message. Unless that is the message of Islam, that you could run around screaming in people's faces. So, so again, what I would suggest is, I appreciate there are some kids that are running around with cameras doing things that they shouldn't be doing. But actually what we're trying to establish here, the thing that we're trying to... So let me just be devil's advocate. If that person said to you, the righteous path, in my opinion, you're going to change your mask. <laughs> yeah, it might as well. If you oh, yeah, devil's was... advocate, so should I. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to give you a position. Yeah. So yeah. If, if, I hope you don't think I'm being disingenuous. It's okay. I'm trying to get to the fundamentals. So if you think, in your, if you think that uh, if that person is doing something wrong and they're not following the righteous path, if that's your position, yeah, yeah, you then you need to, have a, you need to have a way of establishing what the righteous path is. Yeah, but the thing is this, if we go back to a source, which is what you're going to claim... Yeah, yeah we the, need to have a source. And you're going to claim that the Quran is your source and that's... No, before that, because you've... And immediately one of the things you've done is, mm -hmm. is you've gone into specifically about a religious a religion thing. No, because that, that was the whole point oh, of our conversation I understand. originally. So I understand. The so, fact that you've so gone into I'm, this I understand. is got nothing to do with the original question I posed I, I, to you. I guys. understand. I hear what you're saying. What I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is that even before we get to the stage of establishing whether the specifics of any particular path are correct. The first, do you understand the point I'm making? No, no, no. I'm taking it. I'm taking it a step back. Let, let, I'll I'm making it you. making it no problem. I'm making it more fundamental. So I, what I what I would do if I was trying to establish the way for uh, truth or not truth, I need to ground that in something that isn't me, that isn't the society, and is something beyond that. I have to do that. Why do I have to do that? Because we've established that you can't democratize truth. We've established that common sense doesn't prevail. Mm. And we've established that uh, there are people that do things that could be completely wrong and they think that that might be the righteous path for them. So for me to be able to then say to them, you're wrong, I'm doing two things. First, I'm judging, I'm making a judgment based upon some sort of metric. So I need to have a, I need to establish what that metric is. And then I've got to give on what basis of that, that metric I'm bringing forward. Now, I'm not talking about any religion here, I'm just talking about basic principles. We can come to the religion in a bit. But for me, when, I had, when we had that discussion online, there was a disconnect between uh, wonderful you're following the righteous path I, I, lo I love the concepts that you bring forward no problem I don't have any issues with those the issues with the most the issue was if it's if it's something that's common sense is coming from yourself someone else can make the same someone else can make the same claim they can make the same claim but then uh, how do I di how would I as a third person distinguish between you two which is the actually the righteous okay. path so, what, 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 so how would you go about I get this question asked a lot. They say, how do you know that the worldly path or the self-worship path is bad? So greed. Do you think greed ever leads to fulfillment? So you've gone into the specifics again? You no, know, because you've asked me a question. How do you determine? So I'm, this is how I determine using common sense. All right. Greed, lust, attachment, pride and anger, they don't lead to anything okay. but more pain. Okay. Whereas truth, love, compassion, contentment, humility, that leads to a fulfillment within oneself okay. that you are then able to connect with God. Okay. If you don't have that fulfillment, if you're saying that you could get fulfilled from lust, anger, greed, uh, attachment and pride, then that may be you. This is a funny thing, God gave everyone free will, so you're allowed to choose what you want. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, I'll just say that there's a better path. Okay. And if you choose to go down your path that you believe is 100%, well, that's your choice. I'm not, I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. And this is the, and this is where we, this is the, this is the point that I'm making. So, in in your example, 
the thing that you, you the thing that seems to be the the purpose of the path is fulfillment. And, yeah, and you said, God. And, yeah. and then you said, and then you actually give, and I'm, I'm sure you appreciate this. You've given some criteria for determining, actually, um, how do you know something is the right path? You gave criteria, and the criteria were, you pointed at pain, you pointed at happiness, etc. These things. Mm. So these make an assumption. The, the, uh, there's an assumption underlying these claims, i.e., that the way to have the, the righteous path is a path of self-fulfillment, which is based upon happiness and etc. 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 You understand? Uh, do you follow that, or do I explain that again for you? Explain it again, because I don't think it's self-fulfillment. It's more of a because with humility you, and contentment, you're not chasing things. You're trying to work on yourself consistently, and you're trying to be appreciative of what you already have. Yeah. So it's not being a chasing of self-fulfillment. It's more of a understanding of reality and then accepting reality and being able to grow from that. Which, which reality are you talking about? Life. Well, how many realities do you think there are? No, no, I'm just saying because you're talking... Because uh, the things you're talking about... I didn't really want to come in here today.